That's the third time you've read the letter. You must know it by heart. I just can't believe that Stevie's having an adventure like this. It's pretty awesome. I hope she finds the gold. She will. She has to. It would totally suck if Agnes lost the stables. It doesn't sound like Stevie's having much of a relaxing holiday. Yeah, but it sure sounds like an exciting one. Do you think Stevie will mind if I use her spare tail brush? I doubt it. It's over here somewhere. I think I'll use it after you. It's better than mine. look confused, dear. Have you lost something? I'm trying to figure something out. Anything I can help with? Some toffees, maybe, or some sugar for your pony? You don't know anything about shining lights above the sea, do you? You mean lighthouses, dear? Of course. Thanks, Cynthia. You're totally awesome. Oh, my, how nice of you to think so. Some people seem to think I talk too much, you know, though I only really... Oh, see what I mean? <laughs> Have fun then. Hello. I was wondering when I might see you. Harold Holden's the name. I say, I don't suppose you're keen on lighthouses, are you? Well, I don't know. Fascinating. Marvellous. I mean, we'd never have won the war without them. Well, even though they weren't on, in the war, that is. I've always said, you can't sail a ship in the dark close to rocks without a good lighthouse on your side. What do you reckon, hmm? I suppose you're right. Exactly. Well, better get back to it. She's a hard taskmaster, that Freno lens. Well, come again sometime. I'll tell you all about it. Hi, Harold. Hello there, young lady. What are you up to, eh? No good, I bet, eh? What? <laughs> when I was your age, we were always racing around, setting a cracking pace. Not anymore, though. Needs constant attention, this old girl. Plus, it's harder to move with a plastic hip. Always gets me on these cold days. I think I'm looking for a path. Through some trees or something. Oh, -ho! hijinks, I'll bet. Need a bit of inside info, do you? Well, you've come to the right man. They didn't call me the Silver Fox for nothing, you know. The... Eagle has left the nest, hey? What? <laughs> huh? Oh, righto. You play it straight, 
And I won't let on either. Mum's the word. Um, okay. Trees, eh? Now, have a look over to the left where the path goes back to town. Just keep your eyes peeled. Can't be too careful, eh? Over and out! Ha <laughs> ha! What's this? Naomi Hardy's time draws near to reveal the treasure I hold dear. A man of the sea would surely know the timeliest hour at which to go. Well, Jack, I think I'm getting closer. Hiya, Bruce. G'day, mate. What are you up to now? Solving these darn riddles. I think I'm on the right track, though. Good on ya. Need any more pearls of wisdom from yours truly? What? Want any more help? Actually, if you're offering, what do you think this means? A man of the sea would surely know the timeless hour at which to go. Well, I'm not a betting man. Not that April knows anyway. But I reckon that you ought to go visit old Derek down the way. Sounds like it's right up his alley, being a fisherman and all. Cool, thanks Bruce. No worries, mate. Veronica? Stevie? What are you doing here? What am I doing here? I'm staying with my Aunt Jane, she lives at the manor. What are you doing here? I've been staying with Agnes Southard at Willowbrook Stables. I'm helping her with something. I'm not surprised you're staying at a dump like Willowbrook. I can't wait until they tear it down and put up that resort. So that's what they want to build. It'll make this boring island so much better. Well, they won't be tearing down the stables if I have anything to do with it. <laughs> like you could do anything. So, where's the rest of the Spazzle Club? They're at Pine Hollow, helping Max take care of everything. More like they didn't want to be with you. Stay out of my way while you're here as well. I didn't come all this way to hang around with you. As if I'd want to hang around with you anyway.
look who we've got here, then. Hello, young lass. How've you been faring? Hi, Derek. What brings you down to our little part of the world? Can me imagine it's the smell of rotten fish? I do find it mildly enchanting myself, but not many others seem to take a liking to it. Are you after some bait? I wonder why that is. Actually, I have a question about the sea. And what might that be? The timeless hour at which to go. What? Go fishing, you mean? I think so. Well, any time, I reckon. But usually on the change of tide. Do you want to know when the tides are changing? When would the next low tide be? Well, she's low twice a day, but there's a very low tide for the next few days. Just after breakfast, I reckon. Great, thanks. How long does it stay low for? Oh, not long. An hour or so. Thinking of doing some fishing, are you? Kind of. Thanks.
Hi, Stevie. What's happening? Oh, I'm getting there. Hey, do you know Veronica? Yeah, unfortunately. She's Jane's niece. She comes to the island once in a while and stays with Jane. She's here at the moment, actually. I saw her yesterday. She's a bit... Uh... Of a pain? Yeah. Tell me about it. So, you've met her already, then? Yeah, but I know her from back at Pine Hollow. We go to the same riding school. You sure are unlucky. Well, I just stopped by to say hello. I've got to get going. See ya. Bye, Erin.